Welcome to Hobby Life, everybody. It's your host, Brody the Kid here. I'm back with episode 29. Thank you guys for tuning in today, and thank you to our sponsors, Becca Media and Southern Hobby Supply. Today, we have an awesome show. We're going to be talking to Chris Carlin from Upper Deck, and we have a ton of stuff to do with them. We are going to be interviewing him. We are going to have product rep review with him. We're going to have giveaways and more. It's going to be a ton of fun. I cannot wait. And also, Hobby Week 1, 2, 3 will be appearing with some awesome new news. So thank you guys for tuning in, and let's get to the show. Hobby Week 1, 2, 3. Number 1. Onyx has announced that they are going to be putting out some football product, and I am really excited for this. Onyx has been doing some awesome baseball product the last couple of years, and I'm super excited for football, guys. This is going to be really cool. They already announced their first series. There's checklist. Some of the huge guys are on there with Mac Jones and a bunch of other people. Chubba Hubbard. I mean, it's crazy. Eli Manning has autos, which is awesome. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Um, you also, you're going to get four cards per box, two base cards, and two autos. Two autos. Um, it, I love the look of these cards, a lot of on-card autos, so it should be really fun. Cannot wait to see this stuff come out. And number two, Leaf did a Trevor Lawrence Pro Set Design card. Yes, this was a limited edition buy um, at Leaf.com. You can buy it until the February 28th, so this is a really cool throwback to the old Pro Set. If you're us kids, you might not completely remember it because it was back in the 90s, but these cards look really cool. And it's awesome to see Trevor Lawrence on it. It just looks super cool. Um, Brian Gray said that he bought the pro set name. So this could be really interesting to see how far this goes. Um, if you just keep doing some new players or if they make a whole set out of it, it should be pretty interesting. And number three, Prism Basketball Design has come out. And I got to say, guys, I really like it. Is a very similar design to Prism Football, and I think it's really cool. I love how it's cut. It looks awesome. The parallels look so cool, and I can't wait to chase Lamella Ball. It's going to be a lot of fun. He's been playing awesome along with the other rookies. The autographs look really cool on that Prism design. It's just going to be a fun, fun set and a really fun another year to chase some Prism at retail. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, that is it for Hobby Week 1, 2, 3. All right, everyone, welcome now to the show from Upper Deck, Chris Carlin. How are you doing today, Chris? Uh, man, I am really good. So uh, so happy to be here and uh, excited to uh, spend a little time with you. Well, yeah, thank you so much for coming on. I'm super excited to talk some hockey. Season's been great so far. And somehow my Blackhawks are somehow staying in it. I don't understand. With no Jonathan Taves, they're actually like have a good record. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Well, Patty Kane's never going to do you wrong, but Dominic Kubelik is a really good one. Uh, Dylan Cousins, or wait, no, sorry, not Dylan Cousins. Uh, you've got some good young rookies uh, that are coming up. So uh, I think you got a good young team with that veteran leadership. Uh, should be really good, fun to watch. Yeah, when Taze comes back, we're we'll good, doing good, which is surprising. I mean, since, since that Stanley Cup in 2015, uh, it's been a long five years of Blackhawks hockey. So yeah. It's, <laughs> frustrating but uh yeah it's it's fun seeing them uh play in the in the olympics so we got that coming up so we'll see how yeah. that goes I'm a, yeah that'll be a lot of fun so just want to start off with asking you how did you get into collecting cards chris i had three older brothers so it was kind of uh forced upon me um you know that's what we did and um uh my father had a few cards but uh, really, I, I wanted to collect because that's what they were doing. And uh, luckily, they were all significantly older than me. So when they were in high school, they started uh, uh, finding out about girls and, and there wasn't social media that would keep you involved in the hobby. So they, they went on and left their collections behind. And uh, I was like, can I have this? And they're like, sure, sure. And now they're kicking themselves. But um, I remember like going to, they wanted, you know, that my brother and my dad went to a USC Notre Dame game uh, in LA and I had a ticket and there was also a big card show right across the street. And I wanted to go to the card show instead. So 
Um, I really, really got into uh, the hobby. And it's one of those funny things where, you know, my mom would go grocery shopping and she just dropped me off at the card store because the, the, the grocery store was next door. And uh, that was kind of like my babysitter for a little while. You know, I wasn't young, young, but I was, you know, about a little younger than you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember just spending so much time in there and, and looking through showcases and um, the shop was, uh, was really engaging. They do weekly raffles and things like that. So, um, you know, I would always get frustrated because I had one ticket in for the $10 that I could spend. And then there'd be some guy with like 30 and I'd be like, <laughs> But it was it was fun, and um, when the opportunity came to work for Upper Deck, it was like, holy cow, how cool would this be? So, um, yeah, I, I was supposed to be uh, in education, and, and when I uh, found myself in the same city as Upper Deck after I graduated college, uh, I had to take a flyer on it, and uh, uh, I started off pretty bottom of the barrel in, in terms of my role with Upper Deck, but... Uh, with persistence and uh, due diligence and a passion for the hobby, I've been able to to, to move up the ranks, so to speak. And uh, and uh, now I, I'm in the head of our customer experience. So I handle a lot of our social media, uh, all our customer care department, uh, and I work very closely with uh, marketing, PR, advertising. Really awesome. That's pretty interesting how you got into collecting. So as you were a kid, and now you work for Upper Deck, pretty awesome. What are you think the best sets for kids like me to collect for hockey? Yeah, so Upper Deck makes a variety of wallet friendly, you know, price points. Um, we have Parker's coming up uh, in the next couple months, which is a retail exclusive product. Uh, there's always the blaster boxes, which are entertaining. Uh, Upper Deck Series 1 and 2 are really, you know, mm -hmm products that are for kids to guys in their 90s <laughs> i'm talking to one last week just about putting together his series one collection so um upper deck series one and two are always you know great products but mvp and opg really are two products that are really geared towards a, a younger audience a set collector audience uh but really you know it's it's funny i, I think most kids you know, they don't always want to put together, you know, a big set. It's more kind of the thrill of what can I get out of a pack. And, and with that, you know, there are higher price points. So it's, it's a bit tricky. But, you know, what I would, what I would coach a, a youngster on is, is buy singles, you know, buy the singles that you really enjoy. Uh, buy that autograph card that you think is really cool. Uh, make trades, uh, you know, for, for some of the cards you like. And, uh, and work with your, with your folks, you know, work with your mom or dad, uh, have them get on Twitter or Instagram, you know, how good this community is uh, with regard to, to helping youngsters get started. So um, that would be my recommendation. But yeah, we make a variety of products. I think one of the biggest things coming up is uh, National Hockey Card Day, which is May 5th, uh, May 1st, sorry, of two, 2021. Uh, it's a Saturday and uh, we produce cards in partnership with all our certified diamond dealers throughout uh, the US, Canada, and actually Asia. Uh, and it's a day that you can just go into a hobby shop and get a free pack of cards and awesome. you know, it's easy peasy. So when it comes to a, a uh, good price point for kids, that's a great one. And I just love hearing the stories about um, families, you know, that will plot like a course to visit all these different shops and try to put together their set. Uh, if you make a purchase in the shop, you can get uh, a special memorable moments card uh, and uh, potentially some extra packs, but it's just a really fun day and a, a fun uh, event for sure. That's pretty awesome. So talk about these products. What, what upper deck product do you think your favorite is, Chris? Um, mine's Goodwin Champions. So uh, I love the Goodwin Champions product because it's, so eclectic and different. And when we say some, it's coming tomorrow with the, the storms and such, I guess we got held up there. Um, and my team, they're getting the first batch, but uh, I love Goodwin Champions because it's just so different. There's the, the pack opening experience is you just never know what you're going to get. And uh, our head of product development, Grant Sandground has a, a great phrase for Goodwin Champions. He says, you know, keep Goodwin Champions weird. Uh, he likes to have weird elements and unique elements in the product, whether it be ancient currency or hand printed, uh, hand uh, hand painted uh, masterpieces of art. 
you know, there's always something unique and eclectic, but what we found is, you know, there's a, a fan base for all these different types of unique cards, but really what's fun about Goodwin Champions for, for me to open it is just the, the vast uh, array of sports talent that you'll find in there. You'll find the, the legendary players that, you know, are exclusive to Upper Deck, like LeBron James, Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, but you also get, you know, some, some unique names. So uh, Jason Dominguez is a perfect example. One of the, the hottest prospects in baseball right now uh, under the Yankees organization. Just a, a ton of interest in him right now uh, in the card market. But he doesn't have a lot of cards out there. He really he's in, yeah, he's in the 2020 uh, Goodwin champion set and there's a variety of autograph content. So um, I, I like that it's a product where you're not, it's not super expensive, but you have that opportunity to open a box and get something that is jaw dropping, you know, uh, and very cool. So uh, with autographs of our top spokesman and with, you know, some of those unique Joe Burrows in that product for 2020. So uh, it's just a really fun break. For sure. And why don't we take this blaster box and open a couple hey, of boxes? What do you think? Let's do this. Product review. I wanted to ask you about 2021 Goodwin Champions. So, Naomi Osaka, who just won the Yes. The huge she defeated Serena Williams, another one of our product spokespersons. So um, we were we were at mixed feelings about that. So she's going to have autographs, I hear, in 2021, good one? Yes. And, uh, you know, it was interesting. I don't know if you saw there was the, uh, the, uh, the butterfly. Did you see her with the butterfly? Oh, no, A butterfly came up to her while she was painting or while she was playing. And uh, it was like, whoa, that's unique. And then she just she picked it up with her finger and it kind of, kind of went on its merry little way. So that was a unique one. But... I got a bunch of uh, tweets that, hey, this is perfect for, for Goodwin Champions, you know? So uh, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. That's pretty cool. All right, so in this blaster, we have six packs, and we have this bonus pack. So we'll do, uh, we'll do two packs, and then we're going to see this blaster exclusive bonus pack. So I'm pretty excited. I love Goodwin a lot, too. I, I mean, if I could somehow pull, you know, a LeBron James auto or something crazy out of here, you know, <laughs> that'd be pretty awesome. Well, again, the odds on blasters yeah. are real tough. The hobby version has uh, uh, some better breaks for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just fun because it's, it's so it's, – it's got a little something for everyone, I would say. Yeah. So we start off with Brendan Bayless, a musician. This is really cool. I it's a really cool design too. I love the background coloring too. Really cool. We got field hockey. Cool. Oh, there he is. You just mentioned him, Joe Burrow. Nice. That's cool. Really cool. And Miles Bridges, basketball player right there. And then you got a softball player now too. So you're getting. Uh, we've got five different sports one right? pack. Yeah, so I, I think it I think it is a great one to open with kids. And there's, you know, um I had a collector telling me, you know, he's got three boys and a daughter, and so he likes opening the good one because there are, you know, some female athletes in there too. So um but always the imagery is really unique that we use for the set. And you know, it just it feels kind of vintagey, but also just kind of cool and modern. I don't know, I like it. Mm -hmm. We have a Gaudi mini of big boy <laughs> rapper. <laughs> so yeah, there's some different celebrities and things like that in the mix too, which makes it, uh, makes it interesting. I like this one a lot too. The King. Oh, man. We've got, uh, the other interesting thing is that is the bounty with Goodwin Champion. So uh, we've learned a lot with EPAC, our Upper Deck EPAC uh, program, where you can open up cards any time of the day, anywhere in the world. It actually ties to both digital and physical cards. But what we found is people loved put to putting sets together there and earning achievements. So we created Upper Deck Bounty, and people can find more about that at UpperDeckBounty.com, where you know people could check out, uh, you know, if they put together the set, uh, earn some really cool achievements. So uh, that's uh -huh. been fun to see people engage with it that way. That's really cool. 
So, let's see this bonus back. I'm pretty excited to see this. Oh, whoa. Number to 499. Denny Avdija, I believe. That's a sick That is really cool. That is the awesome. The light effects technology that we use on those is, is really sweet. Really cool. Oh, okay. I believe he's one of the first uh, players from Israel, if I recall. Oh, yeah. He is from definitely across the country or across the globe. Across the, across yeah, Israel. The Very cool. I like this one. Mark Henry. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. We don't want to arm wrestle that guy. <laughs> no, I would definitely not. There would be some video posted on the internet and you get made fun of it for the rest of your life. When he breaks packs, he really breaks the packs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brendan ba hey, Brendan Bayless again on the parallel. So that is a really fun set, like you said. I enjoyed that a lot. And that Denny is really cool. Show that one one more time. That Nice shine to it. All right. You ready to get into some hockey product, Chris? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's start off. Let's do this Team Canada. So I'm pretty excited for this. Inside here, you get 15 packs, and you get four autographs and or memorabilia per box, including one premium patch auto. So can you tell us a little bit about this set? So we have an exclusive deal with Hockey Canada, and, and obviously when it comes to hockey, there's, there's great players from the U.S., there's great players from Europe, uh, but the, the hotbed of hockey has and always will be, I, I think, Canada – um it's just uh it's just such a, a passion sport up there um and what's really cool about about this particular product is it's all the younger uh types of players who haven't been drafted in most cases and and are are kind of up and comers so it's kind of like a, a, a total prospect type product mm -hmm. um but we mix in some of the female players as well so it's just a, a good mix of of really talented young players so it's uh, it's fun to break um there's hobby content that folks really enjoy and find exciting with autographs patches all sorts of uh, uh of cool aspects to it but what what it really is is just you know kind of an xrc type product where um you're taking a, a look at some of the best young talent from the country that produces most of the best young talent that's pretty awesome i know connor mcdavid yeah, was in this set in 2015-16. I mean, if you pulled something of him, that'd be pretty mind-blowing. Yeah. You could, tell, you could tell that people pan out from this product. Well, you know what's interesting about it too, Brody, is, is you may have a player um, with strong Canadian roots, and maybe he goes to a team like Arizona or Florida. Mm -hmm. um, Steven Stamkos in particular. Let's take him, for example. He just won the Stanley Cup. Um, beloved in Canada. He's on Tampa Bay, great team, but doesn't always get the hobby love that, you know, some of the other players do. But you put him in a, a Team Canada jersey and on a <laughs> Hockey Canada card, all of a sudden, you know, everyone in Canada is interested because it's their team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this set is really interesting because everyone in Canada loves everyone, every player that wears the, the, the Maple Leaf. So... Um, there's a passionate fan base for this for sure. It's pretty awesome. And I can tell we have a pretty big hit in there. So we're going to get Probably to that. Not a decoy in that case. So yeah, it should be a good one. All right. Oh, here we go. We have to start us off. You said there are a lot of girls in the set. Start yeah. off with you. Yeah. Really cool. Again, the, the women's national team, uh, in Canada is, is a big deal. And a uh, lot of uh, fans, a lot of young girls uh, looking Other to collect their, their favorite players. But a lot of guys like collecting too. Again, they play for Canada. So um, they're, the, they're the daughters of the country, you know. Yeah, for sure. We got four women in that pack. So Chris Carr wasn't lying when there's a lot of women in this set. Yeah. All right. Let's check out this hit. Whoa. This is pretty awesome. We have a patch auto number to 25, Jamie Drysdale. First pack, Mojo, and he is a very uh, talented prospect. So, patch. wow, you got a that was, that was a heck of a pull right off the bat. Yeah, that was a good pack. Um, 
Strange that's a good one. So uh, definitely a young player to watch, uh, but with the uh, with the autograph and patch, definitely a, a nice card for sure. Very cool. Nice dead card. So that that is a great start to this ripping a Team Canada. I'm very impressed with this set so far. That's pretty awesome. So let's get into pack number two. Let's see if we can keep that luck up. Let's see what we get. All right. Brian, or, okay. You got to help me with some of the names here. I'm trying, Chris, but there are some tough names. I mean, they're, the Canadian names are, are, are kind of tough, but it's the European names that really get you. Yeah. Well, we get into some of these NHL products later. I'm definitely going to need a little help. I think yeah, one of the, the my funnest moments is we did at one of the nationals, or maybe it was a uh, an expo, we did a spelling contest with kids for – or some of the players' names. And as it, as it got to the higher rounds, it was really difficult. Some of the adults yeah. were, were having trouble, too. Oh, I can't imagine trying to spell something like Kucherov or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We have a red Kucherov. devil here. Number two, 250, I believe. Yeah, 250. Nice-looking card right there. Eating yeah, the red foil on that really makes it look nice. Mm -hmm. And we have a 2018 draft class. Right there. It's a cool picture. A little nice and close up. And then Dylan Cousins. He's uh he's the one that's um is he the one that's in the series two or am I thinking of somebody else? Uh Cousins is I believe he was in series one. Uh check real quick. But I just I look at the I think Kirby Doc earlier when uh when we were talking. Trying. I hear, I just looked at the Series 2 checklist because, oh, yeah, that's coming out soon, too, which will be interesting. But yeah, it should be March uh, 24th right now. Yeah, Cousins is uh, Series 2. Series 2. So that's pretty cool. So he'll be in NHL. But he's got, again, people are looking for his cards now, and you've got him in, in a product like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Pack number three. Let's see what we get. Out of pack number three, Kormeyer. I think the photography is pretty cool here too. Some nice, I I just love hockey photography. The way you can get some nice action photos with it. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, this is a cool insert. Golden Futures. Those are awesome, and there is an autograph parallel of those two, which is really really sweet. So. Um, that's right. I, Alexi Lafreniere had a cool one in there. Quentin Byfield, one of the Kings' number two draft pick this year, uh, one of the uh, uh, top prospects for the LA Kings is in there. So um, that's a really cool insert series. Uh, yeah, I would, if we could somehow get an auto, that'd be pretty awesome. There's another Jamie Drysdale. And Chris, what do you say we do one more pack? Let's do another pack. Let's let's try, let's, let's try to get take us a fat one. Let's try to get a left. Left for a year. That'd be pretty awesome to pull right on hobby life. All right. So one thing that's interesting real quick just about this season as you're opening those up is, you know, there wasn't a training camp. There, there was, I mean, really short. Uh, there wasn't the typical preseason. So a lot of these young players are just going right into uh, playing against the, the top talent in the world. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was hard to, for them to train. Uh, for that, you know, without having other players because of the pandemic. So I think we're going to see uh, some pretty impressive second halves from uh, some of the players that uh, were selected in the entry draft this, this season. So um, look for some big things from them. Yeah, for sure is. Well, why don't we rip into next um, uh, Series 1? We talked about Big second half. Some of these young guns could have some big second halves to the season. So let's get into here. All right. Absolutely. Got to ask you, who do you think are some young guns in here besides Lafreniere? Like, not like the huge ones that everybody knows. Who do you think are some guys that maybe aren't known as well that you think could have a really good career? Yeah, there's there's quite a few. Um, we did a, uh, a story on it. I just want to bring it up because there were some really good names on there. Mm -hmm. um, and what's interesting is we have what's called a, a, a rookie cutoff date. So um, the, the rationale behind this, Brody, is that if it gets to a certain point in the season, 
uh, where these players, you know, haven't skated yet. Mm -hmm. We've already had most of our products out for the year, including a lot of our lower tier products that really are geared towards kids. So I like that we have this, this cutoff because it, uh, it allows for, um, for good players to not have their rookie season for cards burned by just being in like SP Authentic, Ultimate Collection, Premier and the Cup, you know what I mean? Yeah. So instead of keeping them out, you know, so, uh, so a player like uh, Trevor Zegras, who is a, a very highly touted uh, prospect for the Ducks, he, uh, he recently, I think he made his debut last night, um, but it's, it's one of those things where he's, we, we had the cutoff date already. So he is going to be in everything next year, which is really good. Yeah. So he'll be an MVP, he'll be an OPG, he'll be in awesome. Artifacts, he'll be in uh, tr a Trilogy, SP Game Use, you know, all the way up to I, our, I our really junior. Like so that helps give some of the early season products a little more uh, buzz. But uh, with regard to players, rookies we're looking for in here, Bowen Byram from the Colorado Avalanche, is a is a very good one uh connor mcmichael uh from the washington capitals something about connor and mix go really well but he's been uh he's been playing well peyton krebs on the vegas golden knights uh has been uh very well received um i think there's a lot of young players on the dallas stars uh we were able to get special exceptions to include uh players who uh, suited up for the Stanley Cup playoffs. So uh, Thomas Harley is one. Um, Jake Ottinger is another one for them that you want to be on the lookout for. Um, Nick Robertson from the Toronto Maple Leafs is a good one. Josh Norris on the Ottawa Senators has been playing really well. Um, and then uh, Gabe Velarde of the, uh, the Kings. He's been hurt for a bit, but he's been playing really well too. And um, there's a couple players off the uh, Canucks that are worth looking at. Michael DiPietro is uh, is one of the goalies. Um, I like that uh, their their goalie Thatcher Demko. His dad used to work for Upper Deck. Oh, it's just really cool. crazy. So um, yeah, there's it's it's a deep rookie class. And again, I think by having that cutoff date, it allows Series One to be a bit better than it normally would. Mm -hmm. So on top of the box, hint hint, we have. Some of the synergy coming in a little bit. Just a little hint, a little yeah. spoiler. But let's rip into this. So, Series 2, like you said, coming out soon. There are six Blackhawks Young Guns on that checklist. So, I'm excited to rip some of that. Pull yeah. through my Blackhawks. Oh, speaking of Blackhawks. Yeah, Suter will be in Series 2. He's one of the, uh, oh, yeah. the best we've really seen so far. Ed Patrick. There's the Brinkrat. That, well, that came out. That really came out wrong. I don't know why it, I said that. So weird. The Brinket, the Blackhawks. I really like the design this year, too. I think it's a really cool finish. Well, that's a great shot with the stick bending, too. Yeah. You're yeah. Really like that's really cool. If I hit the stick like that, it would probably break or fall out of my hands, but those guys did it right. <laughs> yeah, you got a very nice snapshot there. I see something pretty shiny coming out, so I'm pretty excited to see what that is. Probably a Dazzler would be my guess. Those have been pretty well received. As, yes, it is. It is a blue Dazzler of Kucherov. That is awesome. Those are those oh, are that these go great as a Christmas ornament. I put a couple of these on my Christmas tree. Dude, I was just about to say that. I put them in a uh, I put them in a in a, one, a top loader, and then I uh, I I put them in uh, I put the hook on there, and so I used the Dazzlers for that. They were a great ornament. Yeah, they, they're so shiny and stuff. They look so cool on the tree. Yeah. I, I've got a bunch from this year. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I got a Patrick Kane, so I'm going to be putting that one up next year. So, yeah. yeah. That is a fun thing. And and what's funny is I'll I'll leave them with the Christmas ornaments, and I'll be like, oh, why didn't I have this one up, you know? And then I'll be like, you know, you kind of – then you're like, oh, my gosh, what's this one even doing in here as an ornament? This is really valuable now, you know? So it's funny. Well – this is one of the ones that opened my tree. I just oh. oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. I still had it sitting out. Ryan O'Reilly there on the green one. So uh, it made a really good ornament on my tree this year. Hey. Oh, whoops. I accidentally took two. I actually have the dry settle. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's the pink. Is yeah. Aren't those? But, uh, yeah, I mean, these really pop on a Christmas tree. Yeah. So 
Oh, it looks every hardcore collector's mad that we're using these as, as <laughs> decorations, but fun. Everyone that wants to send them into PSA is like, why are you putting them on Christmas trees? They're gonna get smashed. <laughs> as we do have a young gun for the Maple Leafs. Is that Nick Robertson? It is Timothy Oh Lilligren. Lilligren. Thank you for saving yeah. me. On that. So he's been uh he's been uh he was uh, drafted very highly, but he's been kind of held uh, back to really, you know, progress slowly with the team. And with the team being, there's just a lot of studs on that team, on the Leafs right now. So um, he's one that's finally getting the uh, the opportunity. And uh, I, I, he's got a really cool signature as well. It kind of looks like a star. So uh, definitely worth checking out uh, Lilligren. And he'll be in a lot more products this season. Really interesting there. All right, pack number three. Let's see what we can find. I hope we get like a portraits or a canvas. Those are really cool. I also saw that there's a um, there's SPs where they're in a suit, right? Yeah, yeah. Those so they're, are really uh, cool. They're arriving at the uh, the arena or the the bubble as it was this time. That'd be pretty cool. But it is always fun to see the guys showing up in uh, in their suits and uh, credentials is a prog uh, product uh, that we did it debuted last year. We'll be back this season. Uh, I think they're called hot dog inserts or something along those lines, where where they're showing up at the arena and, and all like, you know, it's the more yeah. better dressed type players are the ones bringing a little extra. That's funny. And then we did get a portrait. It's a portrait of rookie for my Blackhawks. Nicholas, but I'm not sure that last name. So these are all the portraits cards are kind of the 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 thinking was uh, a Saved by the Bell type of <laughs> insert, you know. So mm -hmm. they tried to make it kind of the fun '80s one. I've got one here too. Uh, here's the McDavid. Oh, that's dope. That's really cool. Oh so, yeah, those are those are really kind of a fun insert. But really, what the goal was with these was was to get people talking. Yeah, a lot of people say they're they're ugly or they're weird, um, but anytime you get people talking about trading cards, that's not a bad thing. So <laughs> I like it. I think it's a, it was a good idea and, uh, and something that'll be brought back again. Freeze! It is time for Interrupting Game Show! All right, girls. Let's go. This is the part of the show where we play a game and Chris has to get points, and it doesn't really matter, but somebody in the live chat is going to win if Chris is up for the challenge. Are you ready? I am. That did not convince me, Chris Carlin, from a I am. No. There we go. In three, two. <laughs> Favorite hockey game snack, hot chocolate or popcorn? Uh, popcorn. Spooky movie or comedy? Comedy. Chicago Blackhawks or Chicago Blackhawks? Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> Groot or Iron Man? Groot. Best NHL mascot? Gritty. Gritty is so funny. Oh, man, if you're not following Gritty, please, on Twitter, he's hilarious. Very funny. We just had this sitting around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We give Chris Corlin a bonus 5,000 million points for saying Gritty. Continue. Oh, I just want to look at the back here. I mean, look at that picture of Gritty out there. <laughs> and like how oh, there are all these videos of him with snowball fights, and oh, I was dying. So funny. He, that was the best mascot edition of all time. Yeah. All right. Would you rather for one whole week sleep in a penalty box or drive to work in a Zamboni? Oh, man. I'd go with the, uh, I'd go with the Zamboni. I think that'd be a fun challenge. <laughs> Probably would be pretty fun. Chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Uh, vanilla. Greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan or Michael Jordan? Please Michael don't Jordan. LeBron James. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Being a false fan. Mike, those LeBron James people out there. Eh, I'm not a fan. Pick one. You're at an NHL game. Would you rather sing the national anthem or do the national anthem? Okay. The other I'm always going to sing the national anthem. My wife tells me I can't do it, but I'll find a minor league baseball team or something that'll give me a crack. The other option was going to be do the Macarena 
during intermission. So I think you probably made a good choice to do yeah. that. Would you rather arm wrestle the Incredible Hulk or swing from Spider Man's web? Swing from Spider Man's web. Hulk would kill me. Pretty fun. Yeah. Freeze! Chris must answer the next question in his best elf voice. Begin. Autos or relics? Relics. Pick one. 40 tickets to the Stanley Cup. That, or was, one. that was almost more of a leprechaun. Sorry. <laughs> hey, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so it fits the theme. Go. Yeah, shamrock shake me. <laughs> Would you rather have 40 tickets to the Stanley Cup? So you can invite a lot of people to the Stanley Cup. Or one ticket, VIP, on the ice, but you have to wear a chicken suit. No, I'd want to bring a bunch of people and really, really, really whoop it up. We'd have a good time. Would you rather play Jenga with Wayne Gretzky or make pancakes with Connor McDavid? I do. I do Jenga with Gretzky. Jen Gretzky's a lot of fun. He's a great guy. Connor's great too, but Connor's just very serious about hockey and playing and what have you. So I think I'd have more fun with Gretz. And because I always ask everyone, on or Elsa. Sometimes you just got to let it go. I would go Olaf or Kristoff, but, you know. Um, That's my answer. I'll go Anna. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Chris, from Upper Deck. You have received five bazillion jillion points, and someone in the live chat is going to be receiving an Upper Deck bag full of prizes. Woo! Please post your hockey emoji now to win. And make them creative and good. That's all I'm going to say. Get creative with these emojis in the live chat. All right. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Let's do one more pack of Series 1. If we could pull a Frenia Young gun, Chris, right now, that would be crazy. Well, it would be crazy because everyone would say it was planted or planned. So I hope we don't. <laughs> because and all I want with breaks is just be, like, regular, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, start. Oh, it looks like I can see the young gun design. So we're gonna have a young gun. I really like the young gun design too. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting one. We have a goalie, Joseph Wool, goalie. Oh, this kid is a really highly touted prospect um, for looks the league. Really young. And you know, anytime you have a goalie and anytime you have a maple leaf, usually you're looking pretty good for a prospect wise. But um, he, I met him at the draft, and he seems so little, but seems to be like a, a nimble little guy, gets around there, so um, definitely one to hang on to. Yeah, goalies with all their padding. They always, I always think that I, when Corey Crawford was the Blackhawks goalie, I always thought he was like this humongous, like, you yeah. know, weightlifter like crazy, and he, it's just so much padding. It was kind of funny, but yeah. that's an interesting one. He's born in 1998, so he's only like 22 or 23, so he's – Got a lot of time, so pretty nice one right there. All right, I already kind of spoiled this next one, but let's go into one of my favorite unique products, Synergy. So tell us a little bit about this one. This design is just so cool. It's so, so cool. Synergy is is kind of an offshoot of, of FLIR, where you know we had the FLIR Showcase product for a while, and we did a lot of unique inserts, but uh, we really like the acetate mixed with you know a trading card. And um, that was the thinking is, is let's make a really cool technology set. And uh, it, that also has the uh, bounty program in it as well, where some of the cards have a code on the back. You don't want to scratch those unless you complete the entire set. But it's just, uh, it's, there's, my favorite are the, uh, uh, the metal cards. So there's these cards that are actually like steel. You'll definitely know if you have one. They're pretty, <laughs> almost kind of easy to cherry pick, but they're, they're sweet. So, um, yeah, I think it's a really fun break, really unique uh, product, uh, autographs, game used, of course, but really what this is about is, is more technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get three cards per pack. So I'm, I have enjoy this. This is a cheaper product as well. You get 24 cards per box, but like you said, the technology. But each card is almost like an insert in and of itself. At least it, it's insert quality, in, in, in my opinion. Cool. Starting off with a goalie on that's look at that shine oh. so it's got the light effects technology it's got the acetate beneath that so it's yeah it's it's just a really unique cool set 
That is a, that is one of the the bounty cards. So that has the uh, bounty scratch off on the back. So if you put together, I believe it's a ninety card set of that, you could win some really cool achievements. Very awesome. And then we have an FX rookie a number to seven forty nine. That's wow. This stuff just blows me away. The technology with this stuff. Yeah, and these types of that type of chromium card right now a lot of the vendors are you know it, it's crazy the producing cards during a time of covid i mean you go to the grocery store and you know there's not paper towels or there's not this that or the other it's always something weird um but yeah I, I'll, a lot of the vendors right now uh for upper deck tops panini leaf everyone are having some issues with uh, with chromium technology so we're working through um working through that with them but these storms in dallas didn't help you know and, and one of our biggest vendors is out of dallas so it's an interesting time where products have been delayed quite a bit but um you can see that product is definitely uh they nailed it yeah those storms in texas have caused all sorts of chaos and i think it's really funny too because i mean they've got some snow but i've got piles outside of my house with like 20 feet of snow i'm just so used to that it seems yeah. like nothing to me yeah. <laughs> illinois weather does not treat me well that's all i got to say yeah. all right pack number two when you're ready when you're ready for that internship moment brody you know think about would you like to be in new york texas or sunny california hopefully you know we get you to come out and uh and work under our wings here Definitely he's going to have the best weather, so that, that will definitely be an advantage. Our, Freeze. I'm sorry, Brody the Kid. This is the production office. Uh, we need to do a fun gauge check on you. A fun gauge check? I think I'd say it's pretty high up there right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, keep All that right. high. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. Thank you. No, keep it high. <laughs> All right. We got have a base card right there. I mean, even the base cards. I mean, look at how shiny it's like. Right? It's so nice. And we have a, oh, this is like really cool. Except, exceptional Young Stars, Mitch Marner, number 749. That's a really cool one. He is a, uh, a very highly touted player for the, for the Leafs. And, and one thing that's, that's, very unique about this product as well, Brody, is you, you'll see a release like Upper Deck Series 1 where there's, you know that there's a lot of it out there. It's at Walmart. It's it's all over the place. There's there's all, all different types of uh, SKUs for it. So blasters and, and there's some with uh, albums. But what's really cool about a release like Synergy is it's one that is only available in hobby stores um, it, it, and, uh, and EPAC. And it's just, it's very limited. So uh, we don't make a lot of it, and I think that in time, as this, as this, uh, this segment of collecting history is is looked at, people will start to realize, wow, Synergy was really short. OPG Platinum, that product is really short in comparison. So I think a lot of the cards in these sets will will elevate in value quite a bit. Yeah. All right. A rookie journey to eight. I mean, we've. Got six cards so far, and three of them been numbered. You could tell there's not a bunch of this stuff out there. Rookie Jerry, that's a cool insert right there. Two packs through. I really want to get a Lafreniere today. What do you think, Chris? It's in there. It's a tough pull, but yeah, that would be fun. It would definitely be pretty awesome. Like we, our fun gauge would go off the off the yeah. rail. There wouldn't even be a setting for it. Just rip it right off. <laughs> As next, we have a. Brett Hall, Blue Jackets, or not the Blue Jackets, the Blues. I don't know. I mean, they both have blue in the name, so it's kind of eh, – As a Blackhawks fan, the Blues are not really – you know, they're, they're supposed to stay out of my category of things I love. Yeah, anything St. Louis doesn't fly in Chicago, I hear you. <laughs> Definitely does not. This here's the guy again, or to 749, Nicholas and the Blackhawks. There he is again. At that. You never know those players follow you? That happens, Yeah. <laughs> And another Sergi FX, John Kleinberg, number to 749. This player on the Stars, yeah. yeah. Stars, another team, Blackhawks, not a fan. All right, we got to get something good out of this one. Yeah, let's do this. Come on. Oh, we have another bounty right here. Nice. Code on the back. 
All right, what is this? Number to 749? So anyone that's new to kind of collecting hockey cards, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely it, uh, players are good, but also teams. Like people go crazy for certain teams. So Toronto Maple Leafs, Montreal Canadiens, Chicago Blackhawks. Usually it's those original six teams, Boston Bruins, New York Rangers. Those are the teams that, uh, that do really well. So even if the player is eh, you know, you'll, there's a there's a fan base for him for sure. For sure. But I don't think this player is eh. Best player in hockey right now. Oh, my gosh. Nice one. That is awesome. Even Connor's excited that you pulled that one. <laughs> Very nice. Perennial All-Stars. That is a beautiful card. That's Sweet. really cool. Nice. Yeah, so. David has been playing lights out again this season, so. He is definitely one that uh, we were excited to partner with at a, at a very early age. Mm -hmm. We're going to do another one. We're going to keep Synergy going because yes. right, that McDavid, oh, there's something like, oh, I think we might have one of those medals you're talking about because it looks kind of metal-y. Or definitely metal-y. I think it's it yeah. it. But you can definitely see there is something in there. Some metal oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. Could be the cold steel. That's something. Number 999, Stanley Cup Journey. It's cool. And I don't want to spoil this, so I'm going to go over and use that Stanley Cup okay, Journey okay. for the next card. Brandon Hagel for the Blackhawks. And let's see what this bad boy is. Oh, that. Oh, holy cow. Cast for greatness. Show us. Number 25, autograph. Oh, sweet. Andre, Andre Vasilevsky. There you go. I know he's good, but I just can't say his last name. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Dude. <laughs> one of the best goalies in the game. Holy cow. That is awesome. Yeah, they just added the autographs, I believe, this season. So, wow. yeah, that is a sweet Holy one. Cow. A reigning Stanley Cup championship goalie. So, uh, he's a big, tall dude. Um, really good dude uh, from Russia. And uh, uh, Vasi is a, a, a fan favorite for sure. So, wow. Holy cow. I was not, I'm glad we opened one more pack because we just pulled an absolute – Awesome card. Holy cow. Let's go, Chris. We're doing good. So I like it. I like it. Yeah. Feeling the love. Feeling it. Feeling good now, mojo. It's good that we're in a good luck because we've got one more box to open, and it's a big one. Okay. Chronology. Oh, yeah. So Four chronology. cards. This is a big boy. We made two volumes, and this is a product that we do with the NHL Alumni Association. So it allows us to – uh, include players who are not normally in our checklist. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, older retired players uh, who fall under their umbrella, and we are, are stoked about uh, making a very big comprehensive set for, for all those players. And what's cool about uh, Volume 2 is it has contemporary players as well. So uh, let's see how we do. Yeah, I looked at the auto checklist, and there is definitely some good ones you can pull. So you're going to get a couple hits in here. I'm pretty nervous for this one. This is like one of the first like pretty high-end hockey breaks I've ever done. Oh, man. It's it's a pretty – it's chunky. Four cards, and it's a pretty big one. Let's hope for an absolute monster. All right. Are you ready, Chris? I am. I am. I feel good. Oh, man. The Vasilevsky was a good uh, segue into this. Yeah. That was, oh, man. There is like two like humongous cards in this pack. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see what we have. Oh, so I'm going to I'm gonna get one of these Synergy cards and cover the next card because I don't want to spoil it. We have 92 of 222 base card right there. Jonathan Huberdeau. 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 There you go. Um, Huberdeau. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So he was a former rookie of the year. Very cool. All right, what's this next card? Whoa, look at – what is that? Number 25, look at that card. I can't oh. even – what is – I can't even tell what it is. And Al McKinnis, so that's yeah. his thick and hard signed autographed. Wow, that is awesome. Number 25. I opened up a few of those packs. I never got anything like that, so great pull. That is awesome. There's the back. Got your – uh authenticity oh that's not why i feel like i don't know why i'm just like i went to school today and i'm just i guess i'm just tired of school so i'm just brain, brain. I'm crazy 
but that is a really cool card. Holy cow, this stuff is cool. So it's from St. Louis. So hard left. So we'll pull this one. We have another autograph. Bobby Smith on card auto. That is awesome. That card looks so cool. Sweet. On card auto. Guys have really cool autographs, you know, the, the retired players. Yeah. That's a nice one. They spend a lot of time with their autographs. So that's really, really nice. And then our last card. All right, you ready, Chris? Let's see what we've got. Is it thick? Oh, oh thick. Number 19 of 20. Look at that. Look at that. Gold ink. Stu Grimson. Look at that. That is nice. Look at, wow. That, with the gold ink on the letter patch, like, oh my, that is. So they do a, an acrylic over that. Now, some of the, uh, some of the lettermen in there, we had to use, again, just an issue of, of the pandemic. Some we could use the uh, the manufactured patch, some we had to use a, um, I forget the name of it, but it's something similar to like we did with the uh, golf scorecard uh, cards from SB uh, game used a while back. But yeah, that is a sweet one, a sweet pack. And uh, that, that product. There are also some really cool cards in there, the time capsule cards. Oh, right. They're the back. And I was, I was hoping you might have got one of those because oh, that's that fun. awesome. So, Holy cow. I mean, let's just do a quick recap here. Synergy came in really clutch with one of the best goalies in the game autograph. And then let's You know just... what, too? You can flip that across the room. You're not going to ding the corners. <laughs> That's the nice thing about it. You might take out a lamp or something. Though. <laughs> yeah. So it's made of metal. Probably not. I would not recommend it. Gold thing, but that old school um, Ducks logo, too. That's pretty cool. So another, I got a, one quick funny story for you. So I had a collector who was uh, going through TSA and they had one of those boxes. He had to open it up because he had one of the metal cards in there. <laughs> Show them that it wasn't something else, you know? Oh, jeez. That would have been pretty scary. Al McKinnis is sweet. Yeah. That was a crazy box. Just three great players. I mean, wow. So make sure you guys stay tuned to my social media page because we're giving away a lot of these cards and some other prizes too. Just thank you so much. To Chris for all this and yeah, hey, holy cow, that was yeah, that was fun, man. So yeah, please, uh, please don't be a stranger. I think that I'm uh, gonna be connecting with you again this weekend on another podcast, so that'll be fun. Oh, yeah, Hobby Hotline, you're coming on there, and I'm a host this weekend. I just yeah. heard about that, so that'll be a lot of fun too. So yeah, looking forward to tag teaming another one with you. <laughs> so before you go though, uh, I got two more questions for you. Yeah, where can we find Upper Deck on social media? Upper Deck Sports, Upper Deck Hockey on uh, Twitter, uh, Upper Deck's on Facebook. We've got, uh, there's a lot of different fan pages everywhere for EPAC. To, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> or you just pull that card and you're all stuck. Uh, Upper Deck Sports on uh, Instagram as well. So, yeah. Really cool. And my last question for you. My favorite product's SP Authentic. Do you know when that stuff coming out? Because I can't wait to get my hands on the new year. A lot of hard signed uh, autograph content in that product. We like to release it with as few redemptions as possible. Uh, so usually we say it comes out in May, um, but this hockey season is <laughs> unlike any we've ever seen. So <laughs> I would imagine that's probably going to be a July-ish product. Hopefully, hopefully right around the national uh, would be my, my guess and, and hope for that. Very awesome. I can't wait for it. So the upper deck hits. We're sick today. We got some awesome stuff. I want to thank you again, Chris, for coming on. I had an absolute blast. Yeah, that was fun, man. Look forward to doing it again for sure. Thanks to all your crew. All right. And as I always say, peace out. All right, guys. That is it for episode 29 of Hobby Life Show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. Thank you to our sponsors, Becky Media and Southern Hobby Supply. And thank you to Chris Carlin for Upper Deck for having this awesome interview and having a ton of fun in today's episode. Make sure you guys give them Upper Deck a follow and check out their stuff. They're really awesome. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at BrodyTK, on Instagram, BrodyTheKid1. You can check out my blog, RIP with BrodyTheKid at BigLeagueBreaks.com. And make sure you stay tuned to those social media accounts for all the giveaways from the cards and some other fun prizes today from Upper Deck. Fun show, guys, and we will see you guys for episode number 30, the big three zero. All right, everybody, see y'all later. Peace out.